Hello, hello, welcome back. We are now, we've, at this point we've done Dracula's Curse, Simon's Quest, and the original Castlevania. Now we're doing Super Castlevania 4. Now, Super Castlevania, uh, sorry, Super Castlevania 4 was the first one on the Super Nintendo system. It's also, a, you know, compared to the, other, the previous games, it's actually pretty long and it's also got one linear path. So actually, let's go in and be easier to talk inside rather than try to talk over the music, so. There's a lot to discuss about this one. This is when the Konami first started using a new logo. It was in the uh, early 90s. So what is interesting here is this is the first Super Nintendo Castlevania game, the first 16-bit Castlevania game to the best of my knowledge. Now, this is yeah, as I said, this is one this is the first one. There was actually another Super Nintendo game that was not released in the anniversary cl collection called Dracula X. It was a porting of the PC Engine uh, game called Rondo of Blood, which itself was considered the the. the uh, the defender version, you know, the mechanical version of Richter's Adventure, which will later get, uh, which will later get a direct sequel in the form of Symphony of the Night on PlayStation. Now, years down the line, they, they, did, I think it was in 2007, Konami did in, end up remaking, you know, uh, Dracula X: Rondo of Blood, turning call, you know, calling the it alongside uh, Symphony of the Night the uh, Dracula X Chronicles. The remake was pretty good. It had remade music, graphics, more consistent art style. <laughs> now here we have the standard story, which is Dracula comes back every 100 years, guaranteed. It is, at varying points during the, during the Castlevania timeline, he can come back early. As we saw in Castlevania 1 and 2, he died in 1691, then came back, seven, then came back in 98. Because Simon resurrected him. It does require some special conditions, though. But generally speaking, he is only meant to come back one hundred every 100 years. <clears throat> okay. And also, hello to the latecomers. Which we read in chat. Which game? This is uh, Super Castlevania Four. Okay, that's just a little action demo. Got our options here. Let's see you know what the items are. Unlike the previous three games, your item button is actually on a separate button because this was designed with the uh, Super Nintendo you know, gamepad in mind back when it was originally created. Here we have the continue screen. Yeah, the name entry from Castlevania uh, 3. And here you just enter your password in with the correct icons. We, do, we should not need these. Oh. Oh, I may need to... Oh, never mind. Suck button pulls us all, all the way up. Now, something to note about this. It, it, the story here is it implies it's a continuation of Simon's Quest. In reality, I, think, I believe it was considered to be a translation error. Because this is more like a 16-bit version of Castlevania 1. A more complete version of Simon's journey into the castle and then the castle itself. And we have full freedom to jump up and down. Which is something that was sorely needed a lot sooner.
What you're hearing is the Simon's iconic theme. It's literally just called Simon's theme, and variants of that are, you know, depending on the game. I was wondering if something up here. Oh well. Also, Simon can move while crouched, so that is a huge upgrade over the previous three games gameplay. He also has the eight, eight directional whip. Rosary returns. Whoops. Oh, and also they hit a lot fucking harder already. Okay, so we're gonna save this, get a quick save here to start the next map. Ah, shit. They really hit hard now. I'm really unprepared for this. Gosh, okay. We are getting slapped already, so we gotta find a, hopefully we can find a heart drop. But not a heart drop, but a, you know what I mean. Health. I, was, I thought it was kind of suspicious over there. Okay, ignore that. Now, unlike the previous... Oh, well. Eh, we'll probably get another one. Unlike the previous games, you don't have the triple shot or the double shot, so you can just spam it as long as you have hearts. Okay, so... This is a new mechanic. You can use the, uh, the whip to drop, to uh, just uh, jump around. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm a liar, apparently. I totally forgot there was a double shot. I thought it wasn't in this game. It's been that long since I played it. Okay, well, honestly, that was kind of expected. Whoa. Okay, so I'm kind of slow on this, apparently.
Yeah, now we get one of those. Alright, see, because I remember this is a incredibly annoying area. Oh shit, who forgot to ban Hecarim? So if a mirror character, there's uh, 12 levels in this one. The final blocks are de de designated by letters instead of numbers. So you can see here, this is a more expansive adventure of Simon's, you know, journey to defeat Dracula. Unfortunately, I was never really good with remembering the, the names of uh, Super Castlevania's four tracks. Except for the so a certain one, so yeah, <laughs> I cannot tell you the names of some of these like I could the previous ones. Itsy bitsy spider crawled up the water spout and got a fucking axe to the face. <laughs> so, kind of, kind of rolling armadillo. What is Ramus in here now? Just great. I got a bad feeling, so I'm gonna make a quick save right here because I do not know where the hell I am. I feel like there's some, some kind of jacked up quicksand area. Yeah. Yeah, and we established back at all, the way, all the way back in Castlevania 1 that this game is really crash happy, so you want to keep a save as usual. Just in case something stupid happens. Yeah, I'm not falling for that bait. That was a really bad place one. That, that was straight up bait. Whoa! Whoa! It wasn't letting me jump, okay. Really could use a cross right about now. Wait, are we already at a boss? 
Oh shit, Katsupia's back! And she's still just as much of a punk as last time. Oh, she's a mini boss, what in? That explains a lot, doesn't it? Must be first time. So, if I'm correct, you have something introduced in Castlevania 3, the idea of uh, sub-bosses like that. You know, rather mini-bosses of a level. Not, tr not you know, bosses like uh, Def and Carmilla were in Simon's Quest. I have no idea what the hell I just picked up. Whatever. Oh, wait, that was that there? I didn't even see that damn thing at first. There we go, cross, finally. So there was no actual true boss. That's just okay. So this does introduce some transition levels, kind of like what we saw in Castlevania Three. And it, this is a linear game. Okay, make a save because we uh, get some progress. So this is actually kind of like a level, like a, I think level two in uh, Castlevania Chronicles. Which was just one huge cavern level. The fuck were those things? Got to look like Malphite. Also, it looks like, uh, so far, uh, something I didn't notice before was the uh, it carries your heart hearts over. So you got uh, extra so not to die. Ah, shit, I debated myself, whatever. We'll find another one, I'm sure. Wait. Oh. Yes, wait, yeah, look at that. It's like predicted. Nice. Nice little power up here, guys. I'm glad I went over here to check. That's cool. Uh-huh, not this time. Wow. Yeah, make a save at this point, because this is a looks like a difficult jump area. You don't want to keep it up to, up to date, because, like I said a few minutes ago, this game likes to crash. <laughs> ah, well, that was, was that even in range?
I'm not sure it's possible to destroy these. Doesn't matter. Yikes. See, that's why you gotta... Because you do not want to lose all that. All those stats. You need them to get to do the game. Because I had a bad, bad feeling. The game is really, really nasty on its jumps. Ouch. So you can actually extend the whip or retract it as you need to in order to complete jumps like that. Whew. Ah! Heartbreaking. All right, go, all right, go all the way back to the start. So that is why you should keep, you know, you gotta be careful about that kind of jumping. They definitely upped the ante on this one. I didn't think I could do that. We got to the top, I think, so so we don't fall all the way back down. Fortunately, later Castlevania games in situations like this would not, you know, do an instant kill like that. You know, it'll just send you all the way back down so you could get, you know, climb all the way back up. What the? I don't think it's possible to destroy that damn thing either. Yeah, it's not. If it's possible to destroy it, it takes a lot of fucking hits. Hopefully there's a meat drop somewhere. Yeah, wow. That's, that's why I had a bad, you know, always be paranoid. So this is an annoying area.
And we're at near that area again, so... I think it is what, yep, looks like the way we're supposed to go. Also, this is like one of the prettiest Castlevania games, especially for Super Nintendo. Because there's this early te technology as well. Oh! Didn't know I could do that. Much more resilient than they were in Castlevania 1. Damn! Ah, damn it! Yeah, well, I, we, you did not want to give up that cross at uh, this place, so yeah, we will just have to repeat that section. It sucks, but uh, at least we're at the end. Because you do not want to give that up, and it takes... I don't, I, I don't know how long it takes to get... But you saw how long it did before we got lucky. The double and a triple shot right after. Wow. Alright, now where was that drop? Make sure to save up here because it's a new screen. Oh crap, I won't do that. So, what just happened there? Well, I guess I should kill the eyeball first. What? That thing actually hit me from that angle? Yeah, I call shenanigans. Alright, so we got it rearrange. Ah, son of a... Get that out of the way. <laughs> that was bad. So was that. I'm just taking free hits after free hit. Whoa! We call that a pro gamer move right there. Okay, I don't know how I managed to pull that one off, but I don't want to try doing that again. Alright, new screen.
Damn, there's a lot too. Okay, leave that. Whoa! Where the fuck did they come from? Damn, really hope there's a health drop somewhere around here. Alright, Konami, thanks! <laughs> Seems like <laughs> As I was trying to say, they seem to be much more generous with the damn health drops than they were in Castlevania 3. Ah, okay, so I guess that uh, bone dragon can hit you from there. Now, something interesting to know about the chain, the, you know, the chain whip being a, you know, a climbing device, I don't think it was used again like this until, I'm trying to remember the, the Castlevania game. Oh, jeez. Damn it! Okay, those birds are fucking annoying. But I'm trying to remember what Castlevania had that kind of a uh, exploration mechanic. I think they didn't release that, that thing until maybe Lament of Innocence. Where you can use the chain, you know, the whip to uh, climb up to, uh, new areas. If not, it was in Lords of Shadow. Okay, that is just dumb. Now, I don't like how the you know the, the bone dragons behave like they did in Castlevania One, where you can end up insta killing them with one whip shot, or they take forever to die. I don't know what's up with that. And I do that, so yeah. Gotcha that time. A fucking damn. Why do these birds take no damage most of the time, I swear? Gotcha, punks! Whoa, that kind of spooked me for a sec there. Wait, where'd it go? Oh. So since we get, we died at this point, we're just gonna do this? Yeah. Ah, boss. Which way is he coming up? So this, these dudes from Castlevania 3. And they're just as big a bitch as they were there. They go down so quick. <laughs> We're almost at the castle proper already. Okay, I mean, I know this track is a uh, clockwork mansion. In 
it's, a, it's actually one that got remixed in later titles, most prominently uh, Castlevania Circle of the Moon. It's actually a really nice song. Okay, so make a save because we're in a new screen. Yeah, eventually it looks oh, kind of like the uh, stalk the uh, level two from Castlevania one. Whoa, that was close. Ah, so yeah, you gotta be careful to the jumps. Whoa! That was close. Alright, save! <laughs> I'm really worried. I didn't imagine that thing not uh, flipping, right? Didn't know that was possible. Whoa! You get Fetter jumped in, okay. So, that's cool. That's something useful to know for later. <laughs> Oops. And they're already hitting a lot harder. Holy shit, it's like fucking Death and Castlevania 3 again. Alright, so we gotta learn this pattern. Go back to there. Wow, he jumps up on there. Okay. You want to fight? Let's fight. Okay, so that would have worked. We just... He had to... I think he had like a, some kind of weird invincibility frame first. Yeah, that ceiling rumbling is really is was yeah, okay, the ceiling is the debris is just fucking us up. Probably should just start saving before the boss end, because that was getting tilting. Alright, so There we go. Damn. 
Who the fuck? Seriously, yeah, I said before in like Castlevania One, but Dracula needs to fire fire his fucking interior designer. So this is something interesting, you know, due to the series of the rotating screen, and this is why you want to get really good at this, because the screen will rotate and can really fuck you up. Okay, uh, yeah, I have no idea which way we're supposed to go. So, we have to repeat the boss fight, because I, I kind of don't know. Like, that was a very confusing spot. Okay, so... I think we're just supposed to wait for it to rotate again. Don't mind me just hanging around. Okay, yeah, I have no idea what we're supposed to do in that spot. Like, you're supposed to be some kind of... I think you're supposed to wait. Or maybe you're supposed to kill the Medusa heads, then go up. Then, you know, probably rotate again after you do the wave. So we'll try killing them, then moving on. Why is that knockback? That's ridiculous. That's why I've always hated about the Castlevania games, is that the knockback gets ex extremely exaggerated. Especially if you're supposed to be playing some kind of superhuman, nearly immortal, you know, holy warrior. And some kind of little pissy back can knock you back 20 feet. That's so dumb. And I think, you know, I think it's an actual, you know, legitimate problem that you know, Konami never, you know, fixed in the games. Whoops. Okay, so... Oh, okay! That was... Yeah, I do not like knockbacks in the, in the series. Yep, rotating again, okay. Now it makes sense. Oh! Okay then, cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this is showing off the uh, early power of the Super Nintendo. You know, scrolling backgrounds and all that. God, what a trip.
Okay, save. Okay, I, I think I understand now. Yeah. Dun 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 yeah, Honestly, I can't remember the damn names, but uh... Whoops, most of them, but Super Cat 24 has some really nice tracks. Oh, shit. Get myself to a... yep. So you gotta be patient. Whoops. Okay, yeah, there we go. Oh! I thought you were supposed to jump up. Well, that's a really difficult area, I guess. What? How did he not die? Yeah, I'm in trouble with the spot, but we're gonna just make a quick save there. Cause I'm not sure. There we go. Ah, damn! So that's a really quick area then. Wait, is there a different way? Huh. What's up through here then? Let's see, take a look, quick look. Okay, so I think there's actually an alternate path. We should try probably go that way. Cause that may have been the right way to go. Oh crap, that, yeah. We don't want to be on that spot. Maybe not. Hmm. So I don't know what's up here. Let's take a look. I think this is the altar, the altar pass, so, whoops, we'll just go do it here. 
Hmm. Huh, I think it just looped us around. Interesting. It did! Oh, wow! Interesting. Whoops. So it did just loop us around. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I thought there was actually an alternate path up there. Yeah, wait, hold on, let me check the... Ah! So I didn't, I was wondering if it was showing it up properly. Now it will be, so it's a shame I didn't catch this sooner, because I didn't realize it wasn't supposed to be like that. Whoa! Is that kind of nasty? It's kind of stretched, doesn't it? Whoops, that's not right. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you, now you got a full screen one. Holy shit, it looks so weird, doesn't it? Maybe I should put it back! <laughs> oh shit! Mouth fight back! Damn! What the fuck buff my fight? God, look at this shit! Oh, okay, so you can die in a boss fight like that. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, let's try adjusting this display a little bit. Yeah, I think I had on 69 for the original one, so we'll just have to go, go with... Honestly, because you consider this as a game meant for like, I don't know, 240, you know, pick your screen, your CRT screens, it could look a lot worse. <laughs> Boomerang is the, you know, a, a, you know, the, is the boomerang the best weapon? It's uh, the cross. Only it, depending on the game, it's called the Holy Cross or just the cross boomerang or just boomerang. It is typically the best weapon in the game in in whatever game it appears. Uh, remember correctly, there are rare exceptions to this. But generally, the boomerang is just best because of how it works. All right, Malphite, round two, bringing the black cleaver. Trying to go all big chungus mode on us. All right, here we go. I think we're actually in the castle proper now. Okay, castle gates. Save. Oh, you little bastards are back. Alright, this track is called In the Castle. Okay, so that was a terrible idea.
Okay, now I'm getting my ass whipped by them. No, you don't. Alright, I got a bad feeling. Yeah, that could have been useful a little bit sooner. Wow, that was a really good time for the, the uh, meat drop. So this is reminiscent of Castlevania, uh, yeah, the, uh, well, the opening of Castlevania One, as well as the, uh, you know, the uh, court, the, the uh, entrance to level five from in, from level four, that little section. Now we're in the actual castle itself. And something to note is the sound, the tracks being played on the uh, you know, previous stage screen like this are actually little melody remixes of the of that stage as a theme. So yes, you know, whoops. Here, I was going to say, this is a lot like Castlevania 1 uh, opening level. That damn thing not die? There we go. Or not. Damn. So just as annoying as they were in Castlevania 1 and 3. However, they die a lot fucking quicker, which is great. So they took so many goddamn hits in the first, you know, first and third games. I feel like they're goddamn immortal. Okay, so this is a difficult area. This one, I think this track is just called Chandeliers. Also, holy shit, epilepsy warning. Good lord. Probably just a good idea to save, you know, when we get to a new jump. I just feel like it could be very aggravating. Woo! That was close. Uh, 
Yes, yeah, see? Exactly, right there. Okay. Oof. Getting vertical just looking at that. I really hate Dracula's interior designer right about now. Wow, that does a lot of damage, apparently. What the hell is that? Hell, give me, the, give me the fucking ghost. Well, yeah, all right, give me the fucking Ghostbusters. <laughs> okay, just, I can fall into there apparently. What? All right, you cannot get take too many hits here. Cause these guys are doing a lot of damage. We gotta get through about as low damage as we can take. Oh, we can destroy that? Okay. It's gonna say, because I got bad feeling again. Ah ha! Yes! Okay, we're good. We were bad, but now we're good. Seriously, what the fuck are those things? Okay, so we just lost all of our gains. Well, oh damn it! I hope to. Okay, it does not look like the. Oh, I think the enemies did respawn. Damn. Yeah, okay, so we kind of got really hosed on that. They just keep respawning, and that's no point. There. Damn it! Come here. You know, for a dude in full fucking army, he's got them fast. Alright, so yeah, make a save over here.
Ooh, damn. That could be bad if we fell backwards. those jumps well Oh, these guys are back. Red skeletons. We saw them in Castlevania 1 and 3, if I remember right. They're, they're immortal. Some Castlevania games allow you to destroy them. Permanently. You have to get a, a special item or something in order to do that. Otherwise, they're pretty much invincible. And uh, solely exists just to piss you off. Kind of like that. One trippy area. Oh, those damn things are back. Because I don't know if it's gonna crash or not with all this action on a the screen. There we go. They're gonna be throwing out a shitload of these. Yeah, that could have been useful to have a lot sooner. Okay then, so I'll go back to the start. I really don't understand why you know why some of these are so badly placed the rosaries. Also, Jesus Christ, even the fucking furniture is trying to kill us now. Useful. 
Oh, thank you for that health. You know, like I said a little while ago, it seemed like they were way more generous with the health, the health drops here. Probably because they knew their game was going to be fucking hard. Get out of here, you budget fucking Tango Ev Ev Evelyn and TF. Alright, stage seven. Remember, character, this was the treasure room, room, which was a really cool level. Yeah, I used to know this particular track. I right, used to remember the damn name. Oh well. There we go. I was a little bit worried I'd end up dropping through here. Whoa! Holy shit! Okay, so that's a thing! Oh, crap. Alright, so we gotta go back. That is something we could do, apparently. Now I was worried about getting a, you know, you know, if you do that, you get a, you know, get a kill. You'll get killed. But okay then, so that works. Read chat, yeah. <laughs> Speed run tricks. We call it pro gamer moves. <laughs> I have to make sure. I meant to save to start of this map. This, you know, the screen. I'm gonna wait for, <coughs> wait for him to come up here. Damn! Take a lot of free damage in the process. I'm gonna make a six, I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> okay, so that's a quicker way to get to this level. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, so, yeah, if we do that trick, we gotta... Yeah, see, if you do it there, you won't die, but if you go wait to... I don't understand the logic in this game sometimes. Are you kidding me? What? What's the hitbox? Okay, you see that? I don't get that. Take a lot of damage, apparently. Well, we cannot do it this way. There are just many things in the way. Yeah, we gotta, we're going to have to manually move down because there's just too much... You know, we don't have the hit points for it. Or not. Make a save! <laughs> I don't want to go do that again. Of course that happens. Oh man, I hate these tricky jumps. And that's why. Alright, so we're gonna have to make a save here because I am really bad at these jumps. That would be why. Whoa. Well, okay, that was. Woohoo! I am really glad that there are so many of these damn things. And they're really heart heavy too. Like, I'm kind of, you know, oh. Why do I feel like this is a big trap here? Ah, that's be why. Damn, someone's got a roach problem around here. Chat haunted, maybe it has a really shitty cleaning policy, I don't know. Not like the two are mutual exclusive. Our new screen. Did that thing just fucking grab me? Rude. 
Seriously, what the fuck? Uh, uh, your owl looks like a goddamn cockroach to me. Size of that damn thing. I've been in the ghetto. I've seen roaches that fucking big. Alright, so now we're up to stage 8. And we're almost at the end of the game. So, acid spit, apparently. We do not want to give up our weapon there, so we gotta be careful about where we, what we get. I hate those eyeballs. Okay, yeah, that's why the eyeballs are just cheesing me over. Whoa! Alright. wrong way. Wait, how are we supposed to get up there then? Oh! I see now. We're supposed to ride it up. Yeah. Yeah, wait for it to fall down fully. Why did that, why does that thing do so much damage? Uh, 
Okay, so yeah, we know what we need to do now. That eyeball is really annoying. Kill those. Oh, I'm so glad to see those. Hitboxes. Worse than fucking Luxalt. Okay, so it holds for about two seconds. Wow. Chat, yep, the correct way is on top. Assuming we can actually get on top because, you know, that jump hitbox is, is messed up. Konami really does have bad placement for those rosaries. Looks like they're, these bone dragons are really getting tougher too. They're not dying in three shots like the previous ones. Well, I'm glad I, uh, you know, kind of felt like something stupid was about to happen. We lost all of our hit points, unfortunately. Alright, so I got a bad feeling. Yep. That's why.
Why was that? <sighs> that damn thing came out like fucking playing peekaboo with me or something. Okay, do not go on there. All right, so this is a bad spot all in, in general. happened? I didn't imagine that, did I? Oh! Okay, so if you whip it, then bad things happen! Yeah. I wonder if we could try this... Watch. Yeah, don't whip it. a lot in that area. Alright, so... Alright, bad feeling again. Just, uh, you know, ping ponged around there. Got got him ping pong ball. Okay, so that's a trap. Proven to be a difficult spot, so we're just gonna do, do that. Wow, how are you supposed to get past that without taking damage? Damn thing's problem. I don't know why those damn things spawn so much, but they're annoying. Got you that time, punk. Alright, save because I don't want to go to that part again. Ah, shit, I got you baited. Don't open that candle. What is the hitbox on that? Come on. Again. Go and clear underneath them and it still counts. What? Okay, I'm way too used to using up and the whip button in order to do special weapons.
Nice spikes. It'd be a shame if someone just walked underneath them. Okay. Damn. So we're gonna have to save that spot too. I keep doing that to myself, I don't know why. So we're gonna make a savior. Alright, nothing special there. Well, alright, so we gotta... Oh, fine, you're the boss, I guess. Mm, damn. Looking like the Mundo VGU over there. And unfortunately, thanks to the power to batshit cross boomerang, he goes on like a punk. Alright, so let's go. Level 9. Alright, this is the treasure room, and that... don't think it, it actually has a track name other than just treasury room. I could be wrong, though. It is one of the coolest areas in the game. Also, holy shit! Got a lot of fucking gold in there. Is he the is he the one percent? Is this basically occupy Wall Street all over again? Man, these guys hit hard. Place to look at straight out of fucking ducktails. Okay, so that's a rough spot. Okay, we we're supposed to use that the uh, rings in order to jump over.
of course, you know, these damn gold skeletons, you know, actually die in one shot. Damn! Honestly, this place has got a lot of gold, it's a lot of t is it oh, hold on, well. You know, it's got a lot of gold, it looks kind of tacky in some areas and kind of shoddily built. Did fucking Trump roll through here too? You know, raise your hand if you didn't see that Trump joke coming. Don't don't put your hand up, you liar. <laughs> yep, we can't reach you from there, so whatever, move on. Okay, so we got fucked on that one. I'm gonna have to make some extra saves then because this these jumps are incredibly annoying. What is the fucking hitbox? You see that shit? Seems they crossed the fucking map. And of course, sometimes he doesn't die, sometimes he does. It's really inconsistent. There. Ah, damn it, almost. Hmm, I wonder. Just had to e the extra lift. Could've probably done it. See, we just had some kind of platform, oh well. You have to be really actually good at the jump mechanic. Oh, there was a reason to go over there. You really need that health drop. So we now we got past that annoying spot. Again with the fucking knockbacks. I do not understand what what this damn thing's problem is with all those, those ridiculous knockbacks. It's been a problem for literally year, literally decades, and you know the Castlevania series that some of the, some of the stuff was just so insanely exaggerated. Okay, so we just need to do the, the crossbow lead, uh, cross boomerang lead trick. We just basically you know throw those out, let it clear the way. Gotcha! Okay, that works! Fucking wind keeping us in spot. Okay then. <sighs> I'm 
pretty glad that was there. What the hell was that? Where does damage come from? Being checked, yeah, I don't know what is up with him and oh. And all the other the, the other meat just everywhere and how long that stuff's been there. Kinda reminds me of the whole the problem of uh, fresh vegetables inside hundred year old wet wrecks in Skyrim. Okay, so, whoops. Okay, so that was dumb. Chains done like that. Okay, and you cannot jump that normally, so. Kill him. There we go. Alright, well, let's make a six. I don't do not want to go dead again.
Okay. Oh, we climbed up. Whoa. Vampire Bat, Prestige Edition. Might be one of the rare occasions where the cross boomerang is not the best weapon. Oh shit. They got me in the end. I hate when they could do that. It's just so cheap. Here I am trying to jump off and wouldn't let me. Damn, would I actually love to axe right about now. Okay, so you're just going to do that, I guess. Fucker, what is that range? There we go. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. Now we're on the final levels of the game. So we actually get to walk up. Oh, no, no, never mind. It's automatic now. So stage 10, One, uh, I think this is at the actual clock tower stage of the game. And the iconic bloody tears.
Alright, so start a screen. Ah, shit. Alright, so... Oh, fuck, I've actually baited myself. Just take that hit. Take that one too, apparently. Okay, let me just get a save here. So this is actually marks the first appearance of uh, Bloody Cures being used as a uh, rather the first appearance of one of the iconic three Castlevania tracks being used for a clock tower stage. Chain fucking wow. Refer to what I said earlier about knockbacks in the game. Stupid as fuck. Alright, fuck it, save. <laughs> Hanging out down the street. Huh, those things have a blind spot. Save. Okay, so... Alright, so we're just gonna... We need to, all the hit points we can get. It's a very tough area. Damn cog again. Okay, so this is a really, really bad jumping area. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, I know it coming, and uh, yeah, I still let it happen. Alright. Okay, so that happened, and I don't want to try to do that, rep replicate that again. Uh, 
Oh, Cadence, yep. <clears throat> that could have been really annoying. Okay, so we're gonna try to climb up that way. We need him out of damn way. Okay, I got an idea. Wait for the far one to come up. Ah! Motherfucker! You know, I figured we'd get all the way up there, and that happens. They would put some something like that there, wouldn't they? I do not like that. That just seems like, you know, making the player... <sighs> right. Just That just seems there to annoy the player. Wait, that actually hit? Oh, tiny janky hitboxes work for, in our favor. Oh, so that can happen. Interesting. Makes sense because I didn't know when to go dead again. Whoa! Now we call that a pro gamer move. Okay, boss area, I think. Yep. Oh shit, Mumu, what's up? Thought you were locked up still. Whoa, what just happened? I call bullshit. So it's a f mummy that shoots fire. That seems really counterproductive. Stage B. And this is the final area because you, you can see there that's at least in the castle keep which has Dracula. And see here, see here is Vampire Killer, the second uh, the iconic 
the uh, themes used here. Whoa! Okay, so that was actually a kind of a safe spot to jump down on. Oh, I see now. It actually isn't. Okay, so this is a really rough area. At least uh, one is one of them anyway. Yeah, you want to just n ignore the candles because the animation delay you can't fire while moving like that. And it, it, yeah, the path will get you. I don't know how they stay suspended in the air like that. And this is the last of the iconic tracks you see here beginning from Castlevania 3. And we messed up. So, I am not 100% sure, but I believe this was actually the first Castlevania game to use all three of the iconic tracks. So, okay, so we cannot actually jump off that for some reason. Yeah, it's not letting us jump up. Seems very weird. So that thing is going to be insta-kill if, if it catches us. Can't really stop for anything. Mutter! This is a crubby, annoying area. Yeah, bad feeling. Whoa! What just happened? Oh shit! Ah! 
That thing was still right on top of us. Hey, whole lot of time to go through the area, though. Hey! I do not like that kind of you know, gameplay mechanic where the stairs just crumble as you go up. And we get stuck because we didn't move up far enough. What? Kidding me? At least he died quick. Wow, that's just cheap. I think this is far far as we can go up. Let's see. Nope. Okay, I think we're almost through here. Okay, damn it. There we go. Okay, so this track is called the uh, Room of Close Associates. Basically, it's a boss gauntlet. Okay, this chuckle here is called Slagra. Uh, I'm very getting shit on here, because he's got some kind of weird pattern. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Hmm. Okay, that is a strange pattern. Reading chat, <laughs> Ridley, yeah. Original concept, do not steal Nintendo. <laughs> Okay, he gets a kind of invincibility frame. What? Okay, you see that? He gets some kind of weird invincibility frame where he can actually do anything. That seems kind of fucking stupid, stupid right there. Whoops. Why does he get to, get to do that even when he crouched? There we go. Oh, now he does. Now he takes the ground. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I think I get it now. 
dodge his early stuff until he breaks the spear. But that is just annoying. Why does he have such a huge fucking hitbox? I don't understand this boss. That's just fucking ridiculous. I just, I, you know, that just seems. I would expect this kind of shit out of early Squaresoft, but not Konami. Okay, I'm going to look it up, because this guy's actually incredibly irritating now. Let's see. Because I do not know how we're supposed to actually deal with him. Hmm, just says he jumps to where Simon goes. When you kill it, when you uh, smack him once, so yeah. He just wants to be an annoying boss. Yeah, okay, so I think I try to understand this. I may have to save when we break his you know, spear because this is incredibly irritating. More that. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, bullshit. I call bullshit. So wait, I don't like how he, you know, he get, you know, damage you without even being on a screen. What is this shit? We had get the rice just a moment ago. I'm calling it severe bullshit. There's no way he's got that much invincibility frame. Straight up ignoring whip attacks. Inconsistent as fuck. Tired chuckles the ass clown over here. He keeps getting his, you know, ridiculous. The straight up ignores attacks. And, you know, he's got he a hitbox the size of a fucking mountain. Sorry enough, he's got, you know. Huge reach attack. I don't remember him being this annoying. 
And honestly, this might actually be the only time ever in a Castlevania game this boss is actually annoying. Because he later reappears in Symphony of Night, he's a fucking joke there. Green chat, yeah. Seems to be. Hey, can I get. Uh, wait, it reminds me a lot of the. the okay. It reminds me a lot of the problem of uh, Dracula's second form in, in Castlevania 1. Where he had, had a huge jump range. Eat shit! Ah, why well, this is gonna be incredibly irritating. We got to go try hard mode. Oh, then again, that could happen. That could happen too. Oh, oh yes, nice. This is a really nice area, though. Okay, here's this half-ass Galio. He's called Gaibon. Holy shit, he's turning into Firebrand. Original concept, do not steal Capcom! Okay, so he's less of a hassle. Just a matter of, you know, throwing around enough when he lands to throw the boomerangs. Okay, so I can't seem to get the right angle. I gave more of him uh, chicken legs. <laughs> oh, it, appear, it would appear so. Save. God damn it, Cartus. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Okay, he's got some tricks. Visible. So it's got a barrier? What? How are you supposed to deal with that? Oh, 
Okay, let me look it up, because this guy is going to be irritating. Let me see. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Where is it? Didn't say weird. <sighs> I'm not actually sure how to deal with them. Let's see. Because that seems like a really annoying thing. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we just gotta dodge the scythe when it jumps up. And we keep getting cheap, you know, cheated on the hit points there. Okay, whoa, so he took a crumb amount of damage. Hmm, interesting. Wow, we punked him out. Damn, he, he went down like Palpatine. Sort of. Okay, so there's actually a little secret here. Okay, it's not... There's supposed to be a little area you jump off. Okay, so um, it's, it requires some natural timing. Ah, crap. There's a secret hidden ledge here. But unfortunately, it's really hard to... There we go. Ah! And if you go the wrong way, so you gotta be really careful which way you go. because I don't want to try to <laughs> figure it out the right, right way to go back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to tell about seeing... Yeah, I can't remember... Yeah, I just know you can get over here... and get... It. If, remember, if you don't already have the cross boomerang and triple shot, it gives you that. So it's really hard to see it. Okay, so... I'm trying to remember what, yeah, you gotta move over a certain spot. Yeah, I really wish I could remember how to, to see the invisible area. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna try to 
check your, uh, that spot again. Hmm. Can't see. <sighs> yeah, I cannot see you. Like, what do we should do? Some kind of visual aid for this, because it is supposed to be possible to get back up there. Actually, I'll show you what. Oh, there's stairs! Dax! Oh. Yep. You do get full triple shot and whip if you don't already have them by 10. Okay, so there's stairs! Ah! That's why! So, yeah, if you get if you die here, you can't get a full... Whip and you know triple shot, so it's not punishing you at this stage. Unlike Castlevania three and one, oh, it was punishing if he died. Oh, ride the lightning! So, Jackie in this one is kind of a weak sauce. He doesn't use meteor tricks yet. Hmm, what if I can... Yeah, you can't smack it. You can't destroy it. Whoa! Huh, I don't remember that. You know, you have a shitload of here, there's no reason not to go ham. Yep, we got screwed. But, you know, you have a crab amount here, there's no reason not to go ham on with the spam. Save it, start here. Damn it. I do not like that. I do not like how to, to, to handle that fireball. It's incredibly irritating. As usual, only aim for his head. Wow, okay, cheap. Just cheap. I don't like how it splits into four.
seems like you can't really do anything about that either. Ah, damn it. At least we get some health pickups. Okay, I think I get it now. Just be at a distance and then quickly whip and then, you know, ro uh, rotate. Just stay through the progress because he's actually getting tilted me. Okay, then. I got it. what? What is the hitboxes? I don't understand why these hitboxes, why these take so forever, you know, forever to die. I remember this being part of the original, you know, when I played it years ago. so fucking far and take so much damn damage to die. I can't seem to hit him at all. Do not. Be. The damn hitboxes are always in his favor, aren't they? There. And I'm taking way more damage than I should because of that shit. Why is he spawning so early, too? I feel like that should be late phase one.
so get some damage in on him. He match be more, more vulnerable to the whip here. I'm not sure. one of those now. Never mind. Guess it's because one was off screen. Why did that come right on top of me? See, look at that. It comes barely in on me. Can't just drop where it goes. That's going right on top of me. Because it's already annoying enough. Wouldn't be so annoying if not for those extra faces. Those things, I don't remember those things being part of the fight originally. So. There. I hate doing it like this, but he's actually that annoying here. So much damn damage. Wait, did he just summon a fireball and it go went away? What? Oh shit! Well, we got him down to his last hit points. <laughs> Picking off Skeletor now. Okay, so we gotta watch out for that. It should be easy enough, easy enough to drop now. We see seems to just lock to this phase of attack. Okay then. Gotta watch out for the lightning strikes, but otherwise, I think he's just easy mode at this point. What the fuck is that hitbox? Worse than a fucking luck song, like I said, like I said earlier. Yeah, see, look at that. What the hell? I am not underneath and it still hits me. There's nothing worse than inconsistency in, you know, hitboxes like that. I play League of Legends for that shit. You know, reading chat, yeah, you say oof, but you know I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah, see, look at that. Inconsistent. That is some riot class shit right there. Yeah, 
see, I knew that was coming. Game doesn't game doesn't want to play fair, why should I? <laughs> yeah, see, look at that. On the other hand, he's taking a shitload more damage. Again! There. Finally dealt with. Die, damn it, die. I'm tired of you. <laughs> and there, Super Castlevania 4 is done. <laughs> it's actually, it's, you know, I think it's as hard as Castlevania 3, but you wouldn't notice it because it is way more generous with health drops. Like, this game by far is much better than Castlevania 1 and 3 about the health drops. These credits are taking a while. You know, this uh, gothic font's nice, but it's really hard to read it. I guess it's just going to do every single level. I think this is what, level 6 or so?
Reading chat replays would have been interesting, I think. And here's Daphne, we got Dracula. I don't know if we need to press start or something to advance this. Let's try. Okay, now it starts the over with uh, the second quest. Now, if I remember correctly, this is actually the last Castlevania game that actually featured this. Because at afterwards, it would either get you, make, if you wanted to start, if you wanted to do a new, qu new game, you would have to actually do a new game, or it would have a, kind of a saved game function. And this, you know, this is the last one as far as I can remember. So, this is just first quest all over again, as you can see, same as before. Now, if, uh, we will take a t take a hit because I remember correctly, they do get it's, it works just like Castlevania One with uh, increased damage and all that. So let's t take a look. Yep, three damage. Well, no, I think that should be, be normal. But yeah, it is basically starts you over just like Catherine one and three. And I think that actually does have you increase the enemies. Anyway, that is it for Super oh, Super Catherine four. So there's only a few left: the Adventure, Belmont's Revenge, Bloodlines, and Kid Dracula. Honestly, Bloodlines is the I think I'm just gonna skip. Uh, you know, th these are the Game Boy games. But well, that this was original for the, uh, you know, Famicom. I'm probably gonna skip those those uh, three and just do Bloodlines to finish this out. But that will not be the only Castlevania game because Lords of Shadow will come up too. So next time it's Bloodlines, and that is gonna be an interesting one to talk about. Thanks for watching.